Michael Tyson, like I am his dad. It's, he's made for me. Ty's son. I, I owe it to myself to go out there and beat this fella and be called new undisputed heavyweight champion. Oh, that, that was a tremendous left hand. For such words, Tyrell Biggs, an Olympic champion and a professional boxer who has yet to face defeat, would have taken a severe beating. Today, we'll talk about how Iron Mike himself beat his most disliked opponent in his career. This is it. He is gone right now. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's the fight we're about to discuss took place on November 16, 1987, between 21-year-old undisputed champion Mike Tyson and 27-year-old Tyrell Biggs, who had yet to face defeat. The rivalry between these two boxers seems to have started back in their amateur boxing days. At that time, Biggs was the real star of the USA national team. Tyson, having joined the adult category as soon as he turned 18, won almost all the tournaments he participated in, yet the US government was reluctant to send him to the Olympics. If rumors are to be believed, Mike's aggressive style in the ring seems to have intimidated the officials in the Olympic Committee. That's why they found various excuses not to give Tyson a spot on the team. Once, Mike went to the airport to wish his national team colleagues luck as they were assembling to fly to the Olympic Games. It appears that Tyrell Biggs, in front of a girl beside him and loud enough for everyone to hear, mockingly said, I don't recognize this wimp, and he's definitely not getting on our plane. During that Olympics, Biggs became the champion in the heavyweight category. Meanwhile, Mike immediately started his career in professional boxing and managed to collect all the belts within three years. The year Tyson became the undisputed champion, Tyrell Biggs also climbed to the top of the heavyweight rankings, becoming the mandatory challenger. At this time, a super fight was being organized between Mike Tyson and Michael Spinks. However, Iron Mike, driven by his grudge, insisted on facing Biggs first. Additionally, Biggs mocked Tyson in his interviews, further provoking him by attacking his pride. And it doesn't matter if I punch up or straight or down or around. I have good leverage. This is prior to coming into the terrain. Therefore, I expect a good, clean bout. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves in the back to your corner. Good luck. I expect Tyson to jump right on. As soon as the Biggs. fight began, Mike started attacking his Mike opponent. Tyson really has to answer. Can he cope with a clever boxer? But Biggs was a boxer who excelled in footwork, at the time considered by fans as the second Muhammad Ali. His rapid jab punches also prevented the opponent from finding openings to attack. Throw the jab like he's doing now, not to let Tyson set up. Before the punch actually is thrown. Well, whatever he does, the fact that Tyson has to set up to get that kind of leverage. See, a good snapping jab is very effective. Whether or not consistent jab. Five years ago, but he really bothered. There me. is the hook again because his hands are down. I don't know if Biggs can fight. Despite Biggs' confident demeanor in the ring, none of his punches were hitting Tyson. On the contrary, Mike's punches were hitting their target accurately. And Tyson throws his punch, he loops his strong shots from Tyson. You see, he's toe to toe, like I said earlier. You can't do. And the way that Biggs is moving. At the end of the second round, Tyson's hook punch momentarily staggered Biggs. The right hand does the most damage. There was a big right hand. Best punch of the fight. That was the In the third round, although Biggs continued to resist, he no longer displayed the agility he had before. One, two. You see it. Steps in. I don't think I can tell you what a finisher Mike Tyson is. It's the same right hand, Larry, that was thrown by David. By the fourth round, Biggs' condition starts to worsen. Taking repeated hook punches from Tyson, he frequently clinches in an attempt to survive. Exactly the opposite of what he said he was going to do. Huge. And a combination. Getting to 
be a mismatch. Realizing his opponent was no longer able to escape, Mike slightly slows down the pace in the fifth round. What he's showing tonight. Despite being thoroughly intimidated, Biggs keeps clinching repeatedly, even unwilling to let go when the referee tries to separate them. Irritated by this, Tyson, without regard for the referee, lands another punch on his opponent. Long and hard at that cut in the last round, and you're going to see him again. Two, let's go. Five. That cut looks even uglier. Come on, this guy can... The sixth round also unfolds entirely under Iron Mike's control. And Biggs holding on a great deal now. There was a right hand by Tyson. And another. Like Mike Tyson's fight. I, I love literally speaking with one punch. You know what's happening here. Adam, you see Biggs come back with a combination of his own. Of course, go back a long way, all the way back to amateur days. Another left hand, and there's a great shot. His legs will look steady. Customado, the mentor of... If your legs are gone, stand and fight them. Stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and fight them. Last round, our punch that figures Tyra... Try for one punch. And he's never... There's In the seventh right round, hand, Tyson punch. intensifies his assault, and as his opponent attempts an uppercut, Mike preempts him with a hook punch. Oh, that punch. That was a tremendous... After being knocked partially out of the ring, Biggs manages to get up, but falls back into the same corner following Tyson's relentless punches. He has no legs at all. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down. So my friends, this is how the legendary Iron Mike, at just 21 years old, would punish his opponents. Constantly body punches. When I was, I was hitting him with body punches, and I heard him, actually, he was crying in there, making woman gestures like, oh, 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 I can't. How? And perhaps the fourth round on. So that you knew you had him by that Absolutely, time. Absolutely, but I knew he was, he was toughing and taking those punches. If you liked the video, make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel, friends.